During normal filling operations, the need may arise to adjust an individual product setup. Um, a quick way of doing that is to use our quick adjustment keys. Quick adjustment keys are located essentially on the same key as the number pad. If you look above each key, there will be a word. That word describes the key's quick adjustment uh, feature. So on a normal uh, machine like an air packer, there will be three keys that will be used. There will be a target, which is key one, a cutoff, which is key two, and a dribble, which is key three. Um, in a normal air packer filling process, when you start it, the pinch bars will open and the filling process will begin. And at that point, you're getting a full stream of product where you're essentially operating at maximum fill rate. And during that process, you'll reach a dribble point. That dribble point is adjusted by this key. When you reach the dribble point, uh, the pinch bars close partially, restricting the product flow. That will essentially slow the product flow down, allow the machine to finally fill the, the last portion of the bag weight. So if we wanted to adjust our dribble point, we would go ahead and press that 3 key, and you'll notice up pops dribble weight. In this case, we're set to 20. So let's say in, uh, we wanted a little faster fill, we would increase that number to say 25. So we enter 2-5 and press the enter key. And if we hit that key again, it'll pop it up and you notice it's changed to 25. Um, in another way, we can slow our fill process down by lowering that weight. So let's change it to 15, 1, 5, and say we want to make it a decimal, 15.5. You just hit the decimal key and make it 5, press enter pops us out again. We have to touch it just to see what it set at. It did take it. It's 15.5. So the lower the dribble weight, the, the slower your machine's going to fill. The higher the dribble weight, the faster the machine's going to fill. And again, the dribble weight corresponds to the uh, pinch bars being partially closed. Um, once we've reached dribble, our machine is filling at that slower rate. It will continue at that slower rate until we reach the cutoff setting, which the cutoff setting is where the pinch bars will fully close, shutting off all product flow. So uh, say uh, we were shooting for 30 pounds, we'll check our cutoff. In this case it's set to 33.3, .3, so we want to shut off before we get to our goal weight, which was 30. We'll go ahead and change that down to say uh, 29.5 for the cutoff weight. So again, that cutoff weight is where the pinch bars completely closed. We'll push it again to check it. Now generally the cutoff weight is a little bit lighter than target, so it's important to realize that cutoff does not equal final bag weight. It equals the point where product flow stops. The product that is still in, in transit will continue to the container and then settle out, and usually you'll end up with more weight than, than your cutoff setting. And that weight is typically close to what you would call a target, which is your final bag weight that you're shooting for. So we'll go ahead and press the one key for target to see what we're set to. Oops, let me just do that again. Notice in this case it's set to 35, so we were shooting for a 30, so we'll go ahead and change that by simply pressing 3-0. Pressing the enter key, and now you'll notice our amount required changed to 30, but we can also verify our target by pressing that key. So we're set to a 30 pound target. Once again, the target weight is the final bag weight that you're shooting for. So there, there isn't really an action on the machine tied to the target weight, but it's using that number to compare for rejecting and just for general knowledge so it knows what weight you're shooting for. So let's go through that again. Right now we have our dribble. It's set to 10.5. That's the point where the pinch bars will partially close, restricting flow. Cutoff is set to 24.5. That's the point where the bars will completely close, shutting off all product flow. And our target is set to 30. So in this case, we would have uh, a little bit of free fall that would allow us to shut off at 24.5, and then we would settle out to 30 pounds, which is our target.